Hey, what's up everybody? What I'm going to be doing today is sorting everything out. I've got a lot of parts that I bought, haven't seen in six months or years. I don't really remember exactly what I bought. So I'm going to sort through it, kind of lay it out, start putting things together. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some fabrication to do to make it all fit. So that's what I'm here to do is figure out what I've got to do to make it all work. You, uh, you go online, you look at these parts and it's supposed to fit, but there's always something you have to do to really make it work. So let's take a look at what we got and start sorting things out. bought this radiator support a while back I've had the fenders on everything seems to line up pretty good but now I've got to sit that in there figure out how my radiator is going in I've got a Griffin radiator with the electric fans we've got to make sure that's gonna work one thing I noticed is a factory style mount is is not gonna work with this thing of course so I don't know if we'll do some trimming on this or exactly what we'll do so with the dual fan set up there's two relays, all the wiring instructions. That shouldn't be too hard to do. We've got to mount the condenser for the AC inside there. So that's what this kit is for. This is part of the vintage air kit that I have. I'll get the condenser mounted inside before I put the radiator in. I've also got to deal with the intercooler and where it's going to go. We're gonna end up having to cut holes probably in this radiator support to get the plumbing through for the intercooler. So laying all this stuff out, it lets me see what I've got, what's missing, what else I need to connect the dots to make all this work. And it also clues me in as to why my credit card bill's been so dang high. I'm not going to do a how-to on all this stuff because really the instructions are real straightforward. It's easy to follow. So I'm just going to put this sucker together and see where we end up. So in the instructions, it has you install this bracket, which is this, and then the dryer. And then the line. That didn't work out quite like that because the line, this is fitting, dictates because it's a hard line where the dryer goes. So then when I put the clamps on, I put them in the, the holes over here. I had to take the bolts out on the bottom and the top because it will not mount in the position that it says to mount it in because line dictates the location of the dryer. So what I'll do is I'll take some vice grips, clamp this down and drill holes and put it where it goes. It's either that or you got to try to force it and bend the line. I don't think I want to do that.
I've got the condenser mounted. Just temporary. I think I'm going to change out some of the bolts on the final assembly, but I think next we'll try the radiator. We're really just trying to get everything together and make sure it fits. So I'm gonna take the radiator support back off. All the brackets and all are gonna to have to be fabricated, so it's gonna be easier just to take this back off, lay it down on the table, and figure everything out from there. So here's the problem. Space. Problem is always space. That dryer sticks out. I need that dryer inside flush with the front of the radiator support in order to have enough room for the four inch intercooler. Looks to me like we're gonna have even more clearance this year than I thought. On top we got just enough room on the bottom. We are way short on room. Do I really need an intercooler that big? Probably not. So right now I think I can just cut the center support out and have room for it to swing in. And then we'll see what kind of situation that creates behind it. better but I'm not sure it's gonna work. go get my grill see if it's even gonna sit in there I don't think so we will see it's been in just a little bit out there <laughs> Take this edge, roll it back. It's gonna give me 
need just a little more clearance on both sides. Had to move some stuff around try to make room for everything i've had to notch this out this this whole unit should sit further over to the right and have clearance for everything but i need all the all the depth i can get for the intercooler so i cut out here and there i need to do a little more trimming just to give me make sure i got enough room when it's time to plug that in got to put another bracket on this side with the condenser to hold it in place. You can see the radiator is back a couple inches from where it was originally supposed to be. And with that radiator, I, I have to make brackets anyway, so it's not going to hurt. It's not going to be much different to move it back. So we've got probably two inches or so here further back, which I had room between the engine and the radiator, so that's good. I'll have to make some brackets to hold everything, hold the radiator. I'll make some brackets on the side to keep the airflow where it needs to be. Still gotta have enough room for the radiator hoses to connect. I should, shouldn't have a problem. 
I'm gonna have to change up the safety latch somehow. There's not enough room. I think it's gonna hit the. It's gonna hit the intercooler. If I was to let it come down through there. Take a few measurements. to build some brackets. So that's where we're at. We're trying to mount the radiator, get that situated where it needs to be, keep the air flowing like it needs to. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. I got to think on it run it around in my head a little bit, look online, see what I come up with. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't think I have the equipment, tools necessary to do it. I want to do it with some sheet metal. But anyway, I may have to outsource that. Until next time, thanks for hanging out. See y'all.